morning, Steve Free in Chicago with the morning grain comments. Uh, happy Friday to everybody. Also, the grain CBOT will be closed on Monday, so you have three ex an extra day for the weekend. And in Chicago, <clears throat> we might break <clears throat> not only record high temperatures, but overnight we might break the record low temperatures <clears throat> So um, as a high side. So it's going to be a great weekend here in Chicago. So um, markets overnight continue to drift lower. Yesterday we sold off uh, some pretty heavy volume. I think some people would say part of the reason might have been due to uh, some weak technical action. Uh, part of the might be traders um, losing confidence in the rally, especially in the stock market and the dollar. And part of it might have to do with, with some rains that are forecasted to move across the Midwest early next week, and that should improve conditions going into the planting season. We also will be noting that some of the world prices, especially in wheat, dropped lower this week, which makes U.S. Uh, no longer competitive in the export market. So I guess we have enough news to put some pressure on the markets. Um, Chinese ag futures were again lower overnight. This continued a trend this week and offers resistance to the marketplace. We also, in the past week, we've seen wheat prices drop anywhere from six cents in Chicago, corn down four, beans down 24 cents, meal is down two dollars, and oils dropped a total of 165 points this week. And uh, <clears throat> you're starting to get the feel that because of these mostly uh, record Brazil soybean crops and also the talk of U.S. farmers adding acres, that's beginning to take over or offset this record Chinese demand in the beans. Competition for U.S. exports and the forecast of the rain next week could be offering resistance to corn at some pretty important levels that farmers this past week decided to sell cash. And as I mentioned earlier, cheaper Black Sea wheat prices makes U.S. wheat exports less competitive than the Black Sea. Funds yesterday, big sellers of beans and corn, reducing some of their long positions in beans, meal, oil, and corn, still net short wheat. So um, again, we're off Monday. Have a good weekend. Uh, these are my thoughts and not those of ADM or ADM Investor Services. And have a safe and profitable trading day.